I've got this in front of me. This is for you to have a look at before leaving. This is an OECD chart of the total indebtedness of the OECD member countries. Here you have the public indebtedness, and here you have the private. As you can see, Iceland is here. You are the most indebted country among the OECD countries for public and private debt together. And this I wanted to tell you because even if you construct 10 aluminium smelters, you will not be able to pay for that. This is, this is a very important problem and building up this aluminium industry, even if the disaster favor of the monetary fund, I do not think that that will solve the problem. So then, if you look to the aluminium industry, the world is producing between 50 and 60 million tons of aluminium every year. It is quoted, it is quoted um, in London. The price is very volatile and it is very depending on the fact that China will not be in crisis. But as all economists are afraid of today is that after the huge injection of cash in the, um, in the Chinese economy, they will now, now uh, decrease in their economy, leading to less uh, request for aluminium. In Norway, we are producing some 3% of the world's aluminium production, 1.5 million tons. Mosh Kidro has difficulties in making it a rentable uh, affair because you are not selling at cost price plus something, you are selling it at the world market price. And as everybody here in this room knows, this market price went down during the crisis from $2,800 a ton to $1,400. Who are the competitors of the aluminium from Iceland? You have aluminium, huge aluminium funders in the uh, Middle East because they have as cheap energy as you have. They are burning the gas from the refineries. And they have much cheaper labor than you have. It is you need one man for 400 ton a year, meaning that if you have 400,000 ton, then you need 1,000 people, meaning that there would be jobs maybe for some 4,000 people here. But everybody knows also that the aluminium industry is terribly polluting. It is uh, necessarily sending out greenhouse gases because this is needed to split the molecules in the aluminium process. So if you set up another huge aluminium plant here, you will pollute, you will have the, the pollution, you will not have that many jobs, and it's not sure that this will be economically sustainable. 